I got fired from my first sales job many years ago because I sucked at it. Since then, I've gotten pretty good at sales. Actually, not to brag, but I was one of the top sales reps at the former tech company I worked at. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to make your first sales calls for anything featuring my friend Alex Hom. And honestly, this could apply to any dreams or goals that you wanna to bring to fruition. Sales is arguably one of the most important skills you should ever have. Great, listening? Okay, cool. Step one, figure out what you wanna sell. Alex has a YouTube channel. Your key to being a really good Instagram Instacart shopper is shopping fast. He wants to work with sustainable businesses. Perfect. He's got an audience. He's got documentary style filmmaking. People need marketing. It shouldn't be too difficult to sell, you know? Selling some kind of sponsored video. Yeah, we'll figure that out over time. Step two, find five to 10 people or companies who you want to work with. This can literally be companies or it can be people or anything. The easiest thing to do is ask a friend who works in the industry already. I got a friend we can call too. Oh, sick. Yeah. Phone a friend? Find out what they think. See if they have any recommendations for people to connect with. That's exactly what we did. Step three, write a pitch. The next step is to write a pitch about who you are and how you can help them. I did this with Alex. And the most important thing is really just to cut to the chase. What I typically do is I'll just develop like a script that just gives people like, hey, what's up, X? You don't know me, but I'm a documentary filmmaker in Colorado and I'm looking for... Nobody has time for futzing around or sketchy sales tactics. Ring, okay. ring, ring. <laughs> Hello, this is Mike. Hi, Mike. Uh, th this is Alex. Um, you don't know me, but I was uh, talking... Um, no, just failed that one. <laughs> <laughs> if you're willing to call somebody and get them on the phone, just be direct and to the point. Step four, scare yourself a little bit. To be honest, I don't know if you experience this, but like I'm insecure about this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sales is scary, you will almost always invariably talk yourself out of doing something. This can be said for anything difficult that requires for a momentum. The self sabotage voice inside your head that's like telling you you're not good enough, that's always gonna come up. If you continue to let that voice control your life, it will. And then you'll find yourself doing work you're unhappy with, being in relationships with people who aren't a great fit, and otherwise scaring yourself out of following your true purpose. Don't do that. Lean into the hard shit, okay? Step five, do the thing anyway. This is Jack. Hi, Jack. Um, question for you. So I'm, I'm yeah. like a local, I'm a local documentary filmmaker here in Denver, in Colorado, and I'm just reaching out to sustainable brands that like I love. Go directly to the business if you can. That's what we did with Alex. And well, you know, we walked around Denver in the hot weather and uh, it turns out nobody was there at the office. Yeah. All right, recap. We walked over to uh, <laughs> trying to meet with their uh, CEO, their director, and uh, nobody was there. But I think just the act of doing a thing proves to you that A, it's not going to kill you, and B, there is some value in inherently gathering momentum. You know, I'm, I'm further than I was yeah, five, four hours ago. So if anything, this gave me the motivation to at least like, by doing kind of those first steps together, then it already has more momentum than it had. The biggest piece, honestly, is just showing up. At some point, you have enough of these conversations, you realize that it's actually all possible. Anything you could ever want, like it's possible, it just takes time, hard work, patience, luck, all that. And this isn't just some pretend bullshit that you're peddling, whatever it is you're trying to put out there in the world. You can live out your wildest dreams if you just take the steps to do those things. So go and do it, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh,